Hey guys, it's Lisa. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. As always, you guys are amazing. If you like my channel, please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, let me know what you guys think. So, I first want to tell you guys, I am so stellar excited. I have these plans right here for my backdrop for Halloween. And I figured it out yesterday, and when it came to me, I was just like, that is freaking perfect. And then... So it's just going to be this little craft thing, but it just keeps growing with ideas and we could do this, we could do that. So I don't know how big or small this is going to be, but I'm really excited about it. I'm going to take all this down. I'm going to have like my little Halloween thing coming up. Uh, I want to do it right now, but I'm holding off just a little bit because it is still September and I am unboxing August boxes as well still so I'm getting a little ahead of myself but I've got this great idea I've started buying the supplies for it I also have an amazing idea for a wreath for a Halloween wreath I'm doing uh, I just have all these like creative ideas popping up so I'm super excited about that I have a Halloween swap I'm gonna do for you guys so keep an eye out for that one um, and I've just got a lot of really cool boxes some new boxes some old boxes but um Today we are doing an August box, which I don't know why it's taken me so long to do this, but this is the Deadbolt Mystery Society. I love this subscription. I think it's super fun. This is like a game puzzle subscription box. And you guys, it's just, I love this. I think it's it's put out by um, people that do like the escape rooms and stuff. And it's just, it's, it's very, very well done. Um, you guys, um... I have a few friends that at one point we were doing a game night, which I miss so much. Everybody just kind of moved or are moving away from me. So I can't really do the game night anymore, but that was just so much fun. There was four of us and we had so much fun just not staring at our phones, not staring at the TV. Just We just play games. It's great for families and um, it's called the Deadbolt Mystery Society. And it's $24.99 a month, and then it's $4.99 shipping, which you may think, oh, that's a little pricey, but it's a night of fun with a bunch of people. So get a pizza and play this game. It's, it's about as much as it would be going out to eat and going to a movie or something. And it's just, it, it's fun. I cannot recommend this enough. Um, I am worried about this one because it's called Framed. Now, I'm going to pull you guys in. Now, this is like my... Uh, my uh, number one thing that makes me super angry, I hate anything that's wrongly accused. Wrongly accused, just, I don't know, it gets in my craw. I just, I cannot stand it. I get so angry. And I, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a weirdo dork pulling you guys down. Okay, but um, hopefully I will like this one. I've liked all the other ones as well. You can do one-time purchases. Um, now, there are two different ways. You could say you're giving this as a gift. And if you do that, it will just kind of time out the next month, I think. Or if you want this one, which you cannot get this one now. But if you want this one, well, if you order, you will not get this one now. But uh, you can go into their one-time buying thing. And you could get um, a number of the their previous ones. And this is one that's included that you can get. A lot of the ones that I've done in the past you can get. And they're all they're all super fun. Um, see, they say that it's about one to four players. I've done this by myself. I've done this with someone else. And something else is really cool about this. You keep this. So once you're done with it, you could pass it on to friends. And they could play it. And other people can play it. And it's just it's an ongoing thing. You can play it again after a while. I guess if you forget, I, I don't know, but I have uh, passed this along to other friends with their, uh, to play with their kids and to play with their friends. So it's just, it, it's a fun thing to have and it's something different to do than just sit around. I sometimes will start watching YouTube and like three, four hours later, I am still watching YouTube and I'm not very happy with myself. So this is something to work your brain and it's just different. Um, what's, oh, oh, oh. The, although, you can't get the September. This is August. I don't remember what September is. I did not receive September, but the October one is called Lair. And you, and when if you sign up, you will be getting the October box. And uh, I think as long as you sign up by the 11th, maybe, you will get it the 11th of October. I think they bill you on the 11th. 
but we're going to bust in this, see what we got going on. You will, the only thing you're going to need is like your A phone that has a QR code. Because a lot of times they do, do QR codes where you scan it and you have to, and I think to solve the puzzle you have to scan it and you download some files and stuff. But um, other than that, it pretty much supplies you with everything you need. And it's, it's just, it's, it's a lot of fun. So this is what it looks like. It just comes in a little box with a lot of different, just, there's so many different puzzles in here to figure it out. Um, see, it says start here. It says compare everything in your box to the contents list uh, for the box you are working. Read everything. Look for things in the box that can feasibly connect to each other. Uh, follow your instincts. Solve all the puzzles. Uh, and then on the back, it says many of our boxes employ the use of QR codes. So make sure somebody in your group has a phone with a QR code. Uh, you can download those for free. Super easy to do. Uh, QR codes and files might be password protected. Don't be afraid to use the hint files. Utilize other members of the, of the society so they do have... Uh, like if you get stuck, they have online uh, kind of, uh, it says uh, they have hit groups on Facebook. And then once you have solved the mystery for the month, check your plan and see if you're right. I tend to, um, you know, I, I, I've done a number of these by myself. I, I, and then once in a while I do it with friends, but most of the time I do it by myself because I'm selfish and like to uh, feel smart. <laughs> So this is um, everything that comes with. It comes with like like super little, um, I guess it just little knickknacks that you think don't matter, but they always do. This is, uh, it says, I say pound sign, but it's a uh, pound sign or hashtag, whatever you prefer, 2020.22.1. That is a clue. I will tell you everything. Everything in this box usually means something. Even if it looks like it doesn't, it totally does. And then you have a little security thing here. And it says Noah Parker, Valley Falls Museum. It's a security badge. And here's the beginning brief. And it says, after closing your last case, you've prepared to take a week of vacation to recharge your batteries. For the next seven days, the only things on your agenda, agenda are rest and relaxation. Sorry, you guys, uh, with the change of weather, I just, I get massive drainage. Following an evening meal with friends, you decide to call it a night. You set your phone to do not disturb. Just before pulling the chain on the bedside lamp, engulfing the room in darkness, you sleep like the dead and wake up feeling refreshed, as is your custom every morning. The first thing you do before getting out of bed is to check your phone. You see a missed call and voicemail from the Valley Falls Police Department that came through at around 3 a.m. You pray that it's just a mistake, but somehow know that you won't be so lucky. With nervous trepidation, you play the voicemail and brace yourself for whatever bad news it contains. And then you've got the QR code where you scan it to hear your voicemail. See, so somebody needs, that's, that's all you need. If, uh, if you got a phone, you're good. And it's QR codes, you can download those super uh, for free. So as a message comes to an end, you quickly realize that it's true what they say about the, there being no rest for the weary. With a sigh and a sense of resignation after being dragged into the situation, you pull yourself together, grab a quick shower, throw on some clothes, and head towards the Valley Falls Police Department. In between sips of coffee, you have time to think about the situation. Noah Parker is a good friend, and you feel an obligation to help. Things don't look good for him, but you don't believe for a second that he's capable of the things he's been accused of. Certainly not murder. You're determined to help him. You try to stay positive and think to yourself that this may be, that maybe this will be an easy case. Then you laugh at the foolishness of such a notion as you push open the door and head into the police station. Years of experience have taught you that it is never easy. And with that, it's time to get to work. The best place to start is by interviewing Noah himself. And that's where you start off. And you guys, I love mysteries. I read Agatha Christie. I love Columbo. I love Murder, She Wrote. I love Perry Mason. I was brought up on all these things. So this, this is just so totally up my alley. Um, so then you have, let's see, Will Street Detective Agency interview Officer Garretton. 
And then you looks like you have a little Sudoku puzzle here. And there's a card that has a puzzle. And it said, my mind's not what it used to be. So if I forget how to access what is precious to me, this is the key. First, I need to remember to look behind where I sit and click what's there. Then, and then it goes through. And I'm not going to go through this whole thing to ruin this for you guys, but I'm just kind of showing you guys what is in here. And who are you seven suspects, excluding Noah, to unlock, give the employee IDs of your suspects in the order of the employee records in Noah's nickname. No caps, no spaces. So you're going to need a QR code right there. And here's another Will Street Detective, De Detective Agency interview Charles White. And this kind of goes through his interview. Everything. Everything means something. Things connect. It's just, it's, there's, there's layers to this that it's, it's always just crazy fun. Especially on like cold nights when it's, it's turning fall and it's turning winter. It's just something so fun to do. Uh, Valley Falls PD evidence room. And there's another QR code. And you've got another interview, Will Street Detective Agency, with an interview, Noah Parker. It just keeps going, man. Search Albert McCain's office. Scan to enter and search the office. There's another QR. This has employee records, and it's got employee ID, name. It's like an Excel spreadsheet, job title, date of birth, height, weight, number, car tag. This totally, totally, totally is a there's a puzzle there. Uh, fix the camera system. Enter in the number code in order of colors from left to right. So to do that QR code, it looks like you're going to have to figure this puzzle out. So this one is password protected. You're going to have to enter that and then you'll get something from this code. See, then you have a uh, Wall Street detect Detective Agency crime scene. Evidence of a break-in. And then Noah Parker's locker and another QR code. See, it just keeps going. Um, this says Valley Falls Museum. Back them up. And then on the back, you have another little um, puzzle. I'm kind of looking through that, see if I missed anything. Uh, exhibitions, Valley Falls Museum. And the, the detail work on this is just amazing to me. And it looks like something you will get if you go to a museum. Um, this is a little map. On the back, it tells you about different things. This is something important. I'll tell you that much right now. Let's see, interview Paul Woodward. And here's the victim, Albert McCain. And on the back, it tells you, I guess, about him. It's just lots and lots of fun just a full night of something to do that's not anything to do with technology just to be with people and enjoy and have fun and if you love mysteries this is this is thing let's see and this is come and learn the history of magic find out the keys to some of the world's best illusions discover both the wondrous and horrendous part of the arcane magic throughout history Probably some kind of puzzle right here. And you have security login, QR code. You'll probably need a password to get into that. And then you have detective notes. I read a little bit of this. A notification came in on August 4th at 1258 AM from the WIC Protection Agency about a triggered silent alarm sensor at the Valley Falls Museum. Most of these calls turn out to be false alarms, but since this particular alarm was for a push-button panic sensor, we sent Officer Howard Reed to investigate. Officer Reed arrived on the scene to find a back door unlocked. After a quick search of the premises, the body of Albert McCain, the curator of ancient history at the Valley Falls Museum, was found in the receiving area of the museum where all the acquisitions are unloaded. He has been stabbed with some sort of blade, which the killer used to rip through the abdominal aorta. The extent of his injury was such that he bled out within a minute of his injury. 
due to McCain's bloody thumbprint being found on the panic button, we believe that he set an alarm within seconds of being stabbed. It just goes on. I'll tell you more about it. Let's see, then we have uh, Valley Falls Museum. Oh, you get these little cards. Also, you get a uh, collector's cards. I've got a number of these, so each box has a collector card in it. And sometimes the collector cards kind of are the clue as well. Um, see, it says the Valley Falls Museum is one of the most distinguished and well-respected museums in the country. One of the reasons why it is so highly regarded is because of the uniqueness of the items featured there. Exhibits include a world-class collection of magic memorabilia featuring, a collect featuring amazing silver... <laughs> Sorry, hold on of magic memorabilia featuring a collection of magic props and stage sets used by the amazing used by the amazing silver silverstone a spy display that features the world's most complete collection of surveillance devices and spycraft gadgets and an art collection featuring the works of such masters as jackson pollock pablo picasso vincent van gogh and andrew white We're getting to the end. And then there, here's a post board for the maintenance shop. And it's got a little puppy dog on it. Um, my sweet little baby, Moxie Patricia. Wonder if that may be a password. And it says, make sure all the tools are put back in their paper place. I am proper place. I am talking to you, Craig. Michael Rodriguez. At work, we had somebody that had to like have, we are talking to you. But I'm going with that being something important. And then you have some sort of, I don't know what that is. That's interesting. I'm sure maybe you put this up against something. Maybe not that, but you put it up against some kind of something. And it may kind of show something, I don't know, but. This is, this is important in the fact that it's see-through. I think you probably put up to some sort of paperwork on here and it will tell you. Whatever. And this says, do not open an envelope unless, until instructed to do so. So I'm not opening this up because I'm instructed to do so yet. So here's my envelope that I cannot un open. I haven't had that before. That's different. That's exciting. So yeah, it's it's just so complex with so many different puzzles. Uh, you get your little collector's card and just all oh, you get um, interview notes, detective notes. It's stuff about the um, the victim, the interviews, this little brochure, just tons of different things that you would spend forever doing an entire night just working on. So yeah, you guys, I do have a link down below if you're interested in this box. I love it. I think it's super fun. And I'm excited about doing this one, even though wrongfully accused is like my err, uh, but I'm excited to try this out. This, this sounds really good to me. So that's everything in the box. You can do one-time purchases. You can just do it every month. One time a month, I think it's worth it. It's just, I mean, it's its how much you would spend going out on the town with your friends for a night. And that's something you can buy some wine, get some pizza, get your friends together, or get your family together with pizza and whatever. And just, just have fun. Have fun away from everything that's going on in the world right now. So it is... Um, See how much does that? It was twenty four ninety nine a month plus forty four ninety nine shipping. There's a link down below if you guys are interested. This is a fun one. It's just super fun. So yeah, you guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Look out for all my Halloween decorations. I am just like stellar on the creative side right now. So keep an eye out. And as always, rock on.